What's up to all the fans, geeks, and nerds joining us today? I see a few new faces out there, so allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mickey, also known as Professor CWK, the cell phone wallet keys, here at Fandoms U. Fandoms U is a place where we explore the history, sometimes science, of some of the most interesting and popular fandoms there are. And today has a much more recent history, Funko. It's highly improbable that you could mention Funko in a public space today and not get a response. It's kind of a big deal. Funko has taken the world by storm as a pop culture, toys, and collectibles company. Known primarily for its vinyl figures designed after popular movies, TV shows, video games, comic books, and more. Funko is one of the most recognizable names in entertainment thanks to partnerships with Disney, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, just to name a few. Funko's history is a fascinating one, growing from a small garage-based company to a major player in the industry that is beloved worldwide. Funko was founded in the Snohomish, Washington garage of Mike Becker and his wife Claudia in 1998. Mike had become frustrated with the affordability of the collectibles he loved, in particular a vintage big boy coin bag. That would lead Mike to license the big boy image and product himself to make his very own bobblehead. That means Funko only exists because of big boy, right? Kind of. After releasing the very own line of Funko Wacky Wobblers, there would be some failed partnerships between cartoon characters and licensing issues that would leave them in debt. But enter an unlikely hero. Irresistible to women, deadly to his enemies, a legend in his own time. That's right, Funko would land the licensing rights to Austin Powers, of all things. They would release a line of Wacky Wobbler bobbleheads for the movie franchise, and it was a success. They sold over 80,000 units. This gave Funko a chance to endure. Funko's popularity would grow from there, adding to the character roster and growing out their Wacky Wobbler line. In 2005, Becker would sell the company to his CCO, Brian Marriott. Brian would move the Funko offices to Linwood, Washington and significantly expand the amount of licensed products. It was here they would introduce their first popular line of fantastic classics, which weren't bobbleheads, but statues that featured classic cartoon characters. Funko was now a healthy, growing company that was ever expanding its list of collaborations and partnerships, including Marvel, Star Wars, and Star Trek. And they would find great success in 2008 with the release of Funko Force, the predecessor to what we know today as Funko Pops. Funko was really starting to take off and becoming a staple in the convention community, which would lead us to a pop culture collecting revolution in 2010. SDCC would be ground zero for Funko Force 2.0, which would eventually be rebranded as Funko Pop Vinyls. These cute little vinyl figures were smaller and more conceptualized than their predecessor, Funko Force. And the SDCC exclusive line featured exclusively DC characters, most famously Batman and Green Lantern. And ever since that, there was nowhere to go but up, as Funko has become a company that is anything but small and cute. Well, it might still be cute. Funko is now a juggernaut in the pop culture and collectibles industry, and not just here in the U.S., but around the world, as they have a presence in over 100 countries. <laughs> Funko has maintained that relevance and growth by expanding beyond vinyl figures and including a wide variety of products. This includes plush toys, keychains, apparel, and even board games. Funko has already left a huge mark on pop culture history, and with the massive amount of content being produced by Disney, Warner Brothers, anime, and various other fandoms, it is going to be relevant for years to come. All right, all right, before you rush out of the door, I want you to remember to dust off your pops and their display shelves and prepare for your test on 20th century action figures. Enjoy the rest of the show and have a great night.